Hi everybody! So really quickly, happy Easter first of all. So I am coming on here to talk about my fast that I announced that I was going to be going on on social media. So I know I was supposed to have a video, vi this video up yesterday. Y'all, life has been a little hectic. So forgive me for that. Anywho, um, so today is Easter and I am going to get, I'm going to upload, edit this video as soon as I get off and then I'm going to get it uploaded for y'all. But really quickly, I just wanted to run down uh, the things that I am doing regarding my fast. And if you guys want to follow along on this, I want to, I don't want to call it the Daniel fast, even though it's 21 days, but I would just say 21 days of fasting. And today is day one, which is April 9th. And we are going to be ending on April 29th. So the main, I guess you would say, the things that I am staying away from and for you guys that want to join me, um, on this, I'm just going to read it off. If you are doing these things, that means you got to stop. If you're not doing them, it's okay. Just continue not to do them. But this is just the basis of what I am doing. And so the first one is no alcohol, no smoking, no sex. And y'all, when it comes to the sex part, if you are married and you want to join me in on this fast, you need to get permission from your spouse. Okay. Get permission from your spouse. You cannot just up and do something like that without their consent. So, uh, no sex, no TV, no social media, no phone, no secular music. So, to break down the sex part, I already explained. So, you need to go to your spouse and get permission from your spouse. You can't just, up, oh, you know, make that decision without them knowing their consent, that type of thing, y'all. Um, the Bible even talks about it. I'll leave a scripture somewhere around here just in case you don't know. So, there you go. Um, no social media. So for me, in regards to social media, you guys already know I am an influencer. So how that's going to work is I'm going to make my posts that I have to make to keep my page active. And then I'm going to set them a certain amount of time where I will respond to questions and comments and things like that. But it's only within that time frame. Right after I do that, I'm getting off. So if you are a social media influencer like myself, a content creator, whatever title you want to give yourself, I would say do the same thing. So just set amount of time throughout your day, whether it's one hour or two hours to do your, to respond to social media. And that's only responding to your content, anything related to you. That's not you scrolling through your phone and looking at other people's content. We're, we're not on social media, okay? We are getting rid of social media because, I don't know, I, these are the things that just God just laid on my heart. Um, but you can pick and choose whatever you want to do. But if you're following along with me, then this is what I'm doing. So, again, I'm not on social media. I will literally just make the post that I have to make because of me being an influencer. Then I'll respond to questions, again, because of me being an influencer. But I'm still going to only take a certain amount of time out of my day to address that. It's not a situation where I'm just scrolling through my phone watching people's stuff. Or I'm just take, spending time because the purpose of fasting is to take that time and use it to get closer to God. Okay? It's not for us to get closer to people. It's to get closer to God. So, um, the no sex. I did have somebody ask me this question. Um, they was like, with the sex thing, no masturbation. So, for y'all who watch porn masturbate whatever y'all we are cutting that off okay you are dedicating your life to god during this time we should be dedicating ourselves period but speaking of fasting we're dedicating our lives to god during this time um so yeah so no secular music gospel only um i do listen to gospel rap so i listen to worship Anything that's related to Christ, God, you know, strengthening your spirit, your man, that's what you need to be listening to, getting focused with God. Um, the other thing that I wanted to hit on, so for prayer, I am going to be doing at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. You can do it however many times a day that you want, but I'm going to be praying at least 10 to 20 minutes a day, worshiping. So prayer and worship is two different things. It is two different things, you guys. So I'm going to be praying at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. 
I'm going to be worshiping with God at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. And then I'm also, so when it, when it comes to TV, um, TV still, TV is still on the time limit, okay? Because at the end of the day, we're not supposed to just always be watching what somebody else is teaching us. We're supposed to be learning the word for ourselves. We're supposed to be getting understanding for ourselves. So will I'm going to watch sermons related to God. I'm going to watch TV shows related to God. For instance, like the Bible, Chosen, The Chosen. If you guys do not know about that show, it is it is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I have it on Amazon Prime. I believe it's on other networks. But if you don't have the app, I believe you can download The Chosen app or something like that. But it's called the show is called The Chosen. So I'm going to watch things related to that. So sermons, um, TV shows, biblical TV shows, things of that sort, I will watch it. But still, I'm only going to be watching it on a time frame. So if you guys want to stick to like that one to two hour window, you can do whatever you want. So that's, but this is just what I'm going to do. Um... If you do need a list of, I guess you would say, speakers or pastors or whatever to follow, um, some of the people I follow are Michael Todd, Joyce Myers, Tony Evans, Miles Monroe, um, Dr. Miles Monroe. Um, I'll, I'll try to list all the people in the description box. So if you guys miss it, just go back and look at this again. Yeah, so no going out. Um, the only time I will be going out is if it's business related. Like I have a networking event. I believe it's either Monday or Tuesday coming up and I have to go. But once I go there, I'm going to do what I have to do. Then I'm going to go home. So no, no, just random going out. No, just finding random things to do because you guys, we are supposed to be taking this time and spending it with God. Okay. So that was the other thing. I don't know how I forgot to mention it earlier but i got it so no going out um when it comes to the cell phone so I, I understand you know we all have kids we're married some of us have kids we're married not married whatever the case may be where you have to answer your phone so what i mean by no phones is i'm not going to be just on my phone just talking holding having conversations i'm not going to be on my phone just texting people if somebody feel like i'm being funny whatever I, I have to do what I have to do. What I have to do. Now the Bible does tell us that we are not supposed to just be going around letting people know that we are fasting. However, the only reason why I am telling you guys is just in case if somebody else is like, you know, I need to get closer to God. God has really been drawing on my heart. I want to say since like not not drawing on my heart, pulling on my heart. I want to say since like January to do a fast. Um, and I did fast for a little bit at the beginning of January. So, no, it was February. He's been pulling on my heart to fast again. Like, like seriously seek him since February. And stuff just kept coming up and I kept putting it off. But I'm like, you know what? I'm steady putting it off, but I'm dying more by the minute, by the second, by the day. Spiritually, I'm steady dying more. And now I've reached a point where I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing it. It don't matter what's coming up, no matter what I have, to, I'm doing it. I am doing it because I'm at a point in my life where I need God. I need God every day, every second, every hour, every minute, every year. I, I need God. I need help with my kids. I need help with my finances. And no, I am not fasting because I want something from him. I'm fasting because I need him. I need him. I cannot survive without him. And am I surviving now? Yes, but could I be surviving better? Absolutely, I could. So I am fasting because I need to get back in the proper alignment with God and make him the, the head of my life. And I know once I make him the head of my life, things will get a little bit more smoother. And first of all, I'm not even doing this because I need it. This is something that we're supposed to be doing as followers of Christ. We're supposed to be fasting. We're supposed to be seeking. We're supposed to be praying. But this is also going to help me get rid of the bad habits that I've picked up since I haven't been praying. I haven't been reading the Bible like I should. I haven't been doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. So this is going to help me reset, refocus, replenish. And this is going to help God be able to use me the way that he desires to use me and not me trying to do my own will 
um, and do what basically Brittany wants to do. So I am going to try to check in. If I don't do like, <sighs> the goal was when I was, you know, dealing, talking to God about this fast, the goal was like, I'm gonna probably do an update daily. You guys do not hold me to it. There's a lot that goes on in my life. Oh, um, before I get into that, if anybody is wondering, am I still gonna be going to the gym? Yes, I am still going to be going to the gym. The gym is part of my daily life. The gym is part of my daily habits, my activities. So yes, I'm going to the gym. Um, now, I'm, am I gonna be spending three, four hours at the gym? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I got an hour and 30 minutes or 60 minutes. If I can't do what I need to do in that time frame, then I don't need to be there, okay? So yes, I'm still gonna be working out because I have to work out. Um, but, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I am, I'm going to try to check in a couple of times a week. If I don't do it every day, I'm going to try to do it at least a few times a week where I'm giving you guys an update on where I am, how things are going, um, different things that God is revealing to me. I'm going to try to do that. But if not, y'all don't hold me to it, okay? I am a single mother and life be life and it be life and, okay? So, but if you guys have any questions, do not forget to leave them down below. If you're not following me on all of my social media platforms at Brit Brand South, Facebook, IG, TikTok. If you're not following me, get your life together and follow me, okay? Y'all, and when I say don't hold me to it, y'all, I still got content from February that I was being supposed to be posted up on this channel, but... I've been busy, I've been busy, but I'm gonna try to get it together. And that's one of the beautiful thing about fasting. Because when you fast and your mind ain't distracted, you can actually get a lot of work done. Okay, you can get a whole lot of work done. So dude, we gonna be doing the work that we need to do, you know, to keep our jobs, to keep our careers, whatever you're trying to build for yourself, we're gonna be doing that. But again, guys, y'all are adults. Keep it within a time block, a time window. Set out the amount of time that you want to spend with God. I'm suggesting literally, y'all, for me, I'm going to, the, the prayer and the worship, that is daily. So the sermons, yes. Reading, reading the Bible, reading um, devotionals, reading books that are going to build you spiritually, all of that, yes. Do not be reading no books that do not, that's not going to, what was, what's the word? Fiction the the non-fiction the fiction you don't need to be reading autobiographies you don't need to be looking at all this stuff. the only autobiography you need is the lord okay the bible the bible but, um one thing i do want you guys to do that god laid on my heart to do is to write out a list of things of my desires that i want from god within this time frame so not meaning like literally within the 21 days but write out what you want from god Write out what you want from God, write out what you're seeking, write out all of your desires and read them and focus on them and let God know like, you know, rather is it, it doesn't money if it, it doesn't matter if it's money, if it's relationship, if it's your faith, if it's your kids, whatever it is, whatever is on your heart, good or bad, write that out and let God know. So that way we have something to focus on and not be so easily distracted. But that is all. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the description box. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.